I'm going to show you how to turn this boring MyFX book table into this fantastic MT4 chart. MyFX book is a pretty cool tool in terms of analysis when you're trying to decide whether you want to buy an expert advisor or not, but there are limitations in what you can learn on um, a MyFX book and there's statistics and there's a whole bunch of tables um, and the individual trades. But um, if you're looking at this table on your own, it's not that helpful. When you look at the trades on the chart, you can learn so much more. For example, right here, I've got the Waka Waka, and this is from a Valerie's account, and I've put it on the chart, and I can see immediately that this is a grid martingale expert advisor. How do I know that it's grid? That you can see right here, this sell trade, and the price is going up, and more and more trades are being placed while the price goes against you. And how do I know that this is a Martingale Expert Advisor? I'm going to switch this chart over to lot mode and I can see right now that this trade started at 0.05 and then this uh, final trade up here ended it with 0.2. So the lot size is, is increasing. Next, I've got the King Robert. And while the MyFX book page is impressive, I don't really understand how it's trading if I look purely at the tabular form of the trades. Switching over to the graphical version of the trades, and this is where I learned that this logic for the King Robot is very simplistic. It pretty much just goes on a whole buying or selling spree, and when that particular trade fails, then it switches over to the opposite. So buy, 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 buy. The if a buy trade fails, it switches over to the sell mode. Sell, 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 sell until it hits a loss. And while this expert advisor costs a thousand dollars, the logic is pretty straightforward. Anyone with half decent coding should be able to replicate it. One more example, and one of the members of my community said this to me. And, and while the my FX book results do look promising, when you look at the chart, this tells a totally different story. From what I can see from the charts, it's fairly simplistic. The expert advisor is trading all the time, and the vendor obviously has this on sell mode only and it's a simply a grid and martingale expert advisor with no um, advanced logic in terms of entry see how it's always selling even in an uptrend it continues to sell and I'm going to zoom out so you can see exactly how it trades. Um, obviously, there is a gap here where the vendor decided not to place a trade and right here where the vendor decided not to place a trade. So the reason this expert advisor has been successful so far is because the vendor is using their specific skills to determine when to enter and stop the expert advisor. So this one is not a set and forget expert advisor. Step one is you need to have an account with my ethics book. So sign in or create an account. Next step is to grab the CSV. So you need to go to any my ethics book page with uh, results and on the right hand side here, click um, CSV and hit the I'm not a robot and submit and you will receive the CSV file in your email. Head over to your MT4 terminal and go to File Open Data Folder and open up MQL4 and place your CS file in the Files folder and the um, script in the Scripts folder. This is what your final Scripts folder should look like. You've got my FX book to MT4.ex4 and in my Files folder, I've named the CSV file Waka. Head back to your MT4 terminal and right click on Scripts and hit Refresh. If you expand these scripts, you can see the MyFX book to MT4 executable file. You need to understand the contents of your CSV file. So open it not with Excel, but with a text-based editor like Notepad. And you can see when you open it, all the different currency pairs that it trades with. This is key. And you need to understand what date format your file is in. So I can see my date for more format is uh, month, month, day, day, year, year, because right now it is October. And I can see the currency pairs that it trades is the Aussie CAD. So I'm going to close this and head back to MT4. I'm going to open the Aussie CAD on a chart. It doesn't matter what time frame you've got it open in. And to get the script working, drag my FX book to FT4 onto the chart. And remember our file name was Waka.csv. 
and our date format was month, month, day, day, year, year. Um, if yours isn't in that format, then it's also day, day, month, month, year, year. And what do I want to show on the chart? The uh, profit of each trade. It's going to leave everything else as default. And you can see here that it said there were 3,909 trades. And out of all those, uh, 1,441 was the Aussie CAD. And all the trades will be placed on the chart for you. If I zoom out, you can see, uh, scroll back to see more and more trades. You can change the time frame. I'll switch to the daily time frame. And uh, it's starting to get a bit messy because there are so many trades. You can see by default, all the profits is displayed on each of the entries and a losing trade will be displayed in orange and a winning trade will be displayed in yellow. So this trade here of $68 um, was closed at the same time as these all, all these other trades and if you add the losing trades up and the winning trade this group of trades will come out in profit. This is the default view which shows you the um, profit. However, if I open a brand new chart and I'll drag this onto the chart again, I'll go waka.csv and I'll change the chart labels from profit into lots. And now you can see exactly how many lot size uh, for each trade. This one was, you can move this one if it's hard to see. This one was 0 0.5, 0 0.5, move that one. 0.10 and 0.20. If I open up one more chart and remember that my file is called a Waka. And if I drag this again onto my um, chart, there is no file called my FX book CSV. And if I press OK, you will see an error message that says error opening file my FX book CSV because there is no such file. I'll open one more chart to show you the the rest of the settings. Um, now, label offset. This means how far above the opening price do you want to display your um, label. So if I go to 0 0.09, you can see now that the labels are much higher up above the opening price if you want to have a clearer picture of um, what the profits and losses are for each trade. Some brokers have different time frames. I'm logged into IG here, which is totally different to my usual Go Markets broker. And I'm going to open up the Waka account again. From a one hour perspective, it looks like everything is correct. But if you go down to the 15 minute time frame, you can see that these trades are floating in the middle of nowhere. They all need to be moved back two hours, which is the time difference between my IG broker and my Go Markets broker. So to achieve um, shifting everything to the left, I'm going to open a, a new chat window. To shift everything to the left by two hours, you want a negative value. So negative um, two hours is 120 minutes. Um, zoom down to 15 minute chart and you can see now everything looks much better. All the arrows actually do belong on a chart. So if I open this again, so a negative value in this box here will move it to the left, a positive value will move it to the right. Some brokers have suffixes on the end of their symbols. For example, here I'm on the 8CAT broker and I've got the Aussie CAD with a dot I on the end. And remember that this script will only pick up um, currencies that match exactly the chart. So if I go open, open up the Waka CSV file, again, do not open this up with Excel. Use a text-based editor like Notepad. And you can see here, all the currencies um, are plain. So if I'm going to switch to Aussie CAD, I'm going to change that to AUDCAD.I. This will ensure all my symbols are exactly the same as my chart. I'm going to save that and close that. Open up my chart and my FX book to MT4. and it has processed every single trade correctly. Remember before I only modified the Aussie CAD. If I open up a chart and I drag this one on again,
it could not find any currencies in my CSV file with a New Zealand USD dot I in it. That's why you see there were no trades out of 3,909. So you will need to edit the CSV file and make sure all the different currencies have a exact match to the suffix and the currency pairs that you have on your MT4 terminal. This script has been my secret weapon for a while now and I use it all the time to analyze my FX book account to decide if this expert advisor is worth buying and we'll post a link in the description below to where you can access it. Bye!